Okay. So when you finish this one, give me one second. You may or may not see the dog like this. May or may not see. Most of you not, didn't see it, right? So how are we going to see it? Click on this one right here, class. On the upper right corner, graph setting. Click on that. You need to set the window for your data. First of all, on the X axis right here, add a label. So what is the title for the X axis? What is for the X value standing for? The angle, right? Angle, the unit is degree. The Y axis label, what is that? The Y axis. Distance. And what is the unit? Feet. Feet. Right. All right. There you go. Now for the X axis, the smallest value for X is 10. But I always want to see further to the left and further to the right. So instead of 10, I going to put zero. That's your minimum. Your maximum is 64, is that right? But I want to see a little bit bigger to the right, so I'm going to put 80. Correct. And I'm going to say the step is five. The step is five, because from zero through 80, the step is have to be five. It cannot be one. One is too small. Either five or 10, but I'd rather put five. For the y axis, what is the smallest value for y? What is the minimum for y? 115, is that right? Something? But I want to see again, I want to see it a little bit further to the left. So I'm going to put 80 instead of 115. I put 80. And then to the left, to the right, sorry, the maximum, what is the maximum here? What is the highest value for y? What is the biggest distance? 285. 285. So again, I want to open it a little bit on the right. So I'm going to put 320. From 80 to 320 is a lot. Instead of 5, I'm going to put the step in 10 plus. The step is 10. There. Now, I want you to take the screenshot of this. Take the screenshot. Either use your cell phone or use the screenshot on the Chromebook. Why? Because this is exactly the first picture you need to submit with your project. Okay? I repeat. This is the first picture. It has to show the table. It has to show some dot and especially show how you set up the, the rough area, okay? I repeat, take the picture of this so you can refer back what your own picture look like in the future, okay? Now, after that, when I click on here, when I click on here to see the dot, see that? There's no more this table right here. That's fine, but I need this. This is the second picture that you have to show without it. So I can see total of all the dot. All right, so let's go back to here a little bit, class. Here, let's take some note right here. So first of all, put this table into decimal. All right, put this table in decimal. By looking at the looking at the plus at the upper corner right here. Okay, and then it takes you to the table, to the table. There. And then from there, you will to set the, the, the rough setting. Okay. So I'm going to put 
So for the rack setting, look at, at the upper right corner. You see this one? Choose this one, okay? Choose this one on the upper right. There. And set the table. These are really important information that you have to show. So for the X, you will have, first of all, they have the title of the X axis, the angle, degree, and for the X, this is the minimum, and this is the maximum, but the minimum and the maximum right here for the X axis, minimum is 10, maximum is 64, but when you put in expander, expander, expand both ends. Okay, expand both ends. So instead of 10, I'm going to put zero. Instead of 64, I'm going to put 80. Expand both ends. Okay, and the, the step. The step, not always fine class, the step depends on how big is your data. Okay, you always can ask me how to set up the step for my data, Miss Ren. I will help you. And for the y-axis, the same thing, extend it. The y minimum is here, maximum is here. Okay, minimum here, maximum here. So I'm going to extend it again. Instead of 115, I'm going to have it 80 to 320. Extend it. All right. And because of this, again, I will have a title here, the distance in feet. And the step from 80 to 320 is a lot. So I increase the step is 10. And this, you need the picture. That's your picture number one. Prepare a scatter plot of data. Now look at part A. Look at part A. Part A. You need another picture. Picture number two. That's the picture I told you when you, without the wrap setup. Picture, the first picture with wrap setup, with wrap setting. The second picture without wrap setting. There. That's part A. Now, part B, part B, determine a quadratic regression model. So part B, we're going to use y equal mx plus b, right? What, sorry, that's linear. y equal ax squared plus bx plus c. So how do we do it? Go back to decimals. So I'm going to go Back here, here, this is where we go guys. Please, look up here, watch. Right here, you're going to put in Y because this table, they name it X1, Y1, X1, Y1. So we're going to use exactly Y1. So click here, Y1. Now, I want you to look carefully, look carefully where you need the symbol because this, um, they program it to run decimals. So we have to put in math notation, not equal, don't put equal. Did you see the, the little wriggling thing right here at the bottom? This one, use this one. Which one? At the bottom right here, right here. Mm -hmm. It just look like a little warm. 
at the bottom, right here. Correct. Click on that. So you have the little wiggly thing here, right here. Then I want to have a x1 square. There. A x1 square. A x and then 1 and then square. Plus B x1. Plus C. There. You have the curve. Are you with me? Questions? Ask. Uh, what was the equation? The right here. This uh, at the bottom right here. See this? At the bottom, class. Oh, you're talking about the equation? Yeah. Oh, we're going to write it here. On this table right here. Look. Did you see you have ABC right here? These are the numbers you want to replace with A, B, C over here. All right. So let's write it. Here. I repeat this table right here. Give you all the information. So you can write it here. Look at that table. I will have A equal what? Negative 0.1. 731, uh, 741. Oh, 714, 714, no. Uh, there. 173, 714. B is positive 14, 3, no, 5212. C is negative 218977. Right. You got it directly from that post. But look, every single number on your project, three decimal places. See that? Three decimal places. So right here, let's write the equation. I will have y equal negative zero one seven one seven no no four y we round up right got it we round up right here and then the next one is what seven is it right that's why we round up x square plus tell me plus what plus what people 14 one uh, right x minus what 21 21 8 8 Okay, this answer part B. Are we good? Okay. Now for part C. For part C. Is this a good fit? Is this a good fit for your to represent this data? So now how do we say it? Did you see that you have many ways to say it, class? But basically, you can just say that based on the curve, based on the graph, showing the curve goes through or actually very close to most of the point. We can say this is a good fit. Okay, so here, this is one way to to write it. So this is one way to write it for part uh, C. So based on the curve, 
Based on the rap, sorry. Based on the rap. Which show the curve going through or very close to most of the point? We can say this is a good fit. This model is a good fit. Is a good fit to represent this data. Blah, 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 right here. You know what to add it on. Show you a complete example of my student work, okay? So you see how they write it. So that's part C, class. Now for part E and part, part D and part E, because we have less time, so I'm not going to ask you to do part F. You're not going to do F. So look at E and D. For E, did you see that what this uh, what distance will correspond to an angle of phi? Meaning, given x, given x, phi y, given x, phi y. But for part E. Oh, this is D class, I'm sorry. This is D. This is E. D first. D first. Please fix it. D. Yeah, D first. Now for part E, it gives you the distance. It gives you Y. You have to find X. Right. Find X. In the past, when the student do this project, they actually have to solve the equation to find the value of x and y. But again, because of the, the time restraint, we have to use that small. So let me show you how to do it. That's small, that very easy class here. Open another. Uh, function for me, open, click on here, put in x equal 5, x equal 5, there, here, did you see that, move this so you can see it, move the wrap so you can see, and then one more time, I, I want to mention it with you, did you see that, doesn't matter where you move the wrap, the title all the way show. See this? Doesn't matter where you move the wrap, the title all the way show. So right here, if you click on the, the intercept point right here, there, you see that it show x equal five, y equal 46, 365, see that? Take a screenshot. This is the third picture you have to show. this one so you will have y will equal 40 40 what people 46 one what three six five is that right yes three six five feet and picture the picture for part E for part E now I'm going to put in y equal 270 
What in y equal 270? There. Then I'm going to move the raft so I can see it right here. See? Let me open it a little bit more. So if I move it right here, see that? This is the line y equal 270. It cut the curve at this two point. But sometimes, sometimes it's hard to click exact on 270. I accept this in this situation. Did you see they have 269.2? It's okay. It's okay because it's hard to click exactly 270. But it has to be close fast. So right here, at this, again, take another picture, show this two point. So you will have x equal uh, 34 degree. So x will equal 34 degree and 50 degree. Picture, there. You have to show picture, okay? Make sure you show picture to uh, to support your your answer. Basically, that's it, class. That's it, okay? So I'm going to pass it out the rubric, and I'm going to show you one complete example from student, and you understand how it look like. This is the rubric. The rubric also will be on uh, canvas. You just need to download the rubric and cut and paste from dashboard and write down some conclusion. Then next, this table 
bowl is ready for you to just fill it in. See that? All right, now turn to the back for the rubric. Here, the student make the table like this. It's okay, completely fine. You need to give what is X standing for? What is Y standing for? Define what is your input and your output. Then see that this is the first graph. I see this is the first picture I told you. The table, the dot, and the table and the graph setting. I need to see this, yeah? All right, this is the example graph. You just need to follow me with the rubric, yeah? All right. Then, the second picture show the equation and the curve, got it? And here, the student choose to say that this equation is not a good fit. I'm not going to argue with you, class. If you look at this, if your data like this and you say that, oh, this is a good fit, I'm not going to mark you wrong. But you need to explain a little bit why is it a good fit to you or why is that not a good fit to you. I rate you on this, not because you say a good fit or not good fit. Yeah? And this student support her, her choice. Explain it a little bit more. I'm more into this but than arguing with you. Okay? Next. This is given x, uh, given y by x. This is given x by y. The next two pictures, right? And make a conclusion. That's it. That's it. All right. So, I make a framework for you. See that all you have to do is cut and paste it in. See? Take, uh, take the screenshot, paste it in, Write something, take a screenshot, paste it in, write something, see that right here? Use a wrap to predict a vertical line, x equal what? You have to make the you have to make up this number using the data that you have. Because for this example, for this example, that's why the data I choose for for x is between 15 and 64, right? So you choose it. And right here, x five degree. That means you choose something that beyond this. Do not choose forty because you already have an answer forty right here. Don't choose forty. You may choose seventy. You may choose uh, twelve. That means beyond this, yeah. Because anything between this, you already have the answer. And for y, the same thing. See that? For y, they give two seventy. Because you don't have 270 right here. Here, you may choose 42 for me, that's okay. You may choose 32 for me, that's okay, as long as it's not the same number here. Got it? Great. Now go ahead and start your class with the, find the data. Find the data, search it. First of all, what are you interested in? You interested in music? You interested in sport? You instead in literature, choose one person, one team, one group, one topic. Like how many uh, people 